Gina McCarthy has really been an inspiration to me in humanizing the problem of climate action and bringing climate change and the science of it, surrounding it, down to a level where we can all relate to. One thing that I find particularly striking about Ms. McCarthy's career is that she stands for clean air and water. She's not simply a warrior for climate change as she's often portrayed. And clean air and water are things that go across political boundaries and uh, something that suits all of us. For me, she helped kind of prove that there's a field for sustainability, like there's something where like we can take this passion and actually use it as a career and affect change. What you see as like inspirational when you're looking at these kinds of figures in government is having a direct admission and, and working towards realizing that as opposed to you know saying that this is what we want to do and then getting caught up in not accomplishing it. I always looked up to her as being kind of this role model of what are the kinds of policy decisions and different kind of mechanisms we could work through. Um, specifically the clean power plan really stuck with me. I think there are a lot of changes that can be made in the electric generation and transportation sectors and I feel the clean power plan really is one of the hallmarks of policy within the last century. She is not afraid to expose violators of the Clean um, Air Act. She has developed a very strong platform for all of us um, and she has a very scientific and economic reasoning to all the work that she does. Sheena McCarthy, I actually first met you in middle school in Hartford at the Capitol. I'm from New Haven, Connecticut and my mom is a lawyer and she was doing lobbying work and we were walking around the Capitol and meeting a woman who's so involved in the science and the policy making of the environment um, definitely inspired me to go um, through with this path and continue on my way to get a degree in sciences and now working towards making policy um, for a better environment in the future. I'm from Houston, Texas and with all the hurricanes and flooding there, climate change has literally been hitting home. And beyond that, I was born in Taka, Bangladesh, which has its own set of flooding and monsoons happening and I think for a time two-thirds of the land mass was underwater. I think it just kind of makes the point that climate change is real and affects so many people around the world on a daily basis. Climate refugees have actually become a reality in Pakistan and Pakistan is home to some of the most endangered species in the world. We are home to snow leopards and we have these huge massive glaciers and we're the ones who are actually at the forefront of the impacts of climate change. Now I think that the ball is really in our court and we should question ourselves what should we do to ensure a more climate secure future because she has done our part and now it's our part you know and this is a question of our collective future, so we must take collective action towards it. Thank you Administrator Gina McCarthy for standing so firmly on climate change and for being such a strong female leader that we can all look up to. Thank you Gina McCarthy for all the work you've done with the EPA and all the ways you've supported the future generation of environmental policy experts. Thank you Gina McCarthy for putting a real actionable plan in motion. Thank you so much for just inspiring me to continue um, to follow my passion for environmentalism. Thank you, Gina McCarthy, for your impassioned defense of our moral obligation to each other. I want to say thank you for your years of public service and for inspiring everyone around you. Hey, Gina, thank you so much for being my hero and for being a hero to so many of us. You are an inspiration and thank you so much for all the work that you did for each and every one for us. Thank you, Gina McCarthy, for inspiring me to work as a woman in sciences and policy, working towards a better environmental future. Mm -hmm.